Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. I think probably everyone in this group would agree that God is a God who sees all. Because he is all present, he sees all things. He sees all situations and circumstances. He sees what is done publicly and privately. He sees everything. However, I don't know that we always fully appreciate the implications of that truth. And we get an opportunity in our reading today to explore some of the good implications that come from the fact that God sees all. And there's basically three things that we can, uh, or three benefits that we can see from the fact that God sees all. We And we find one in our Old Testament reading, one in our New Testament reading, and one in our reading in the Psalms. And the one in the Old Testament reading is found in Genesis chapter 16 in connection to Hagar. Hagar was the servant of Sarai. And Sarai gave Hagar to Abram to try to bear children because uh, Sarai and Abram were unable to bear children uh, thus far. And Hagar becomes pregnant and then begins to despise Sarai uh, in her heart. And Sarai wants to get rid of her. And she blames Abram for it. And Abram says, hey, she's your servant. Do with her as you wish. And Hagar ends up uh, leaving and going out into the wilderness and, and things get pretty bleak out there and the Lord provides for her there in the wilderness and this really uh, imp uh, brings a good impression on Hagar's heart and she actually calls God uh, the God who sees me now this is found in chapter 16 and verse 13 she said you are the God who sees me and she recognized the fact that God saw her even in that place of uh, being destitute in solitude, God saw her in the wilderness and he provided for her. And so the first good thing that we learn about the fact that God sees all is the fact that he sees us in those difficult times. And he sees us in difficult times, even when perhaps we're out of sight of everyone else. Now, there's a lot of suffering that we undergo in our lives that other people never see. It might be because we are physically disconnected from them, uh, as was the case with Hagar. Or it might be that the suffering that goes on isn't visible. It might be a suffering that goes on in the heart or in our minds or in our emotions. And other people don't see the hurt, the suffer, the suffering that we are going through. But we can be guaranteed that the Lord sees. And he doesn't just see with uh, this uh, nonchalant attitude, but he sees and he has a heart of compassion towards us when he sees the suffering that we're undergoing. And so that's what we learn from our Old Testament reading. From our New Testament reading, we find that the Lord sees us in our good works. Uh, in Matthew chapter 6, Jesus is warning his disciples from uh, this idea of just doing things just to be seen of men. Whether it comes to giving alms, whether it comes to praying or fasting, he said, don't do it to... Don't be showboating out there. Don't be doing these things just so that people will look up to you. He says, do these things in secret, and the Lord who sees in secret will reward you openly. And so there we get a benefit from the fact that God sees all in the sense that he sees the good that we do, even when nobody else sees it. And as Christians, as people who genuinely love people, it is definitely the case that a lot of times we do things that no one else knows about. Uh, and they might know generally what we're doing, but they don't know the specific things that go on in our lives and the specific things that we're doing in our devotion to God. And maybe sometimes we get discouraged by that because we don't feel like we're getting the recognition that we deserve. Well, we can take heart and know that God sees the good that we're doing and we don't need to showboat or to let everybody else know what we're doing because our reward is with God, and he will reward us for those secret goods that we do. And then in our uh, psalm reading, we have the Lord looking within the heart, and this is in connection to justice. He says in verse 9 of Psalm 7, End the evil of those who are wicked and defend the righteous, for you look deep within the mind and heart, O righteous God. God is my shield, saving those whose hearts are true and right. 
God is an honest judge. He is angry with the wicked every day. There David recognized the fact that God sees what goes on in the heart. And whether he's talking about the heart, what's going on in the heart of the wicked people and therefore enacting justice on them based on what he sees in their heart, or by upholding the righteous uh, based upon the uprightness of their heart, which is what I'm inclined to, to believe that that's what he's talking about, that God sees the righteous. Other people might think or question uh, a righteous person's motives. Uh, wicked people might try to uh, defame those who are righteous and question their motives. But God sees the heart and he knows when we are genuinely seeking the welfare of others, when we are genuinely serving him, and he acts accordingly in his justice. And so when we are misjudged by others, when other people try to um, slander us and try to question our motives, we can take heart in knowing that God sees our heart. He knows what's going on in our hearts, and we don't have to fall under judgment and condemnation by others. Uh, God sees uh, that we are genuinely serving him and wanting to do what is right. And so in these three different ways, God seeing all is very helpful to us as we walk and as we live the spiritual life. We know that he sees us in the difficult times, even when perhaps other people don't see the struggles that we're going through. He sees us when we do good deeds, even when we're not doing it to uh, look good in front of other people. The, the secret deeds that we do, he sees. And he also sees what's going on in our hearts when perhaps other people might question our motives. And so these are some good things that come from the fact that God sees all. And we should praise him for the fact that he sees us, he knows us intimately, he knows us like no one else. And he can come to our aid and he can help us in all of our needs because he knows exactly what we're going through. So let's, let's think about that today. Let's reflect on that as we do our reading. With that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.